Hello friends, in continuation to my previous video which was on CFG simplification, I'll be now showing an example and in which basically I'll be reducing an unoptimized grammar into an optimized one by using all the algorithms discussed in my previous session. So let's start with it. This is a context-free grammar as we can see and this contains a null production over here a unit production s goes to c another unit production s goes to b another unit production d goes to e and it might also contain many useless productions the useless productions as you can recall now are the ones which are either never called upon or that do not terminate so the step one was to remove the useless productions. So if I see D goes to E is a production which would never terminate because E does not go to any terminal symbol. So therefore D goes to E is a useless production. Also if I see this production S goes to C capital C D it does not appear to be a useless production that is the one which will never terminate but if I try substituting it what I would get is if I start with C goes to C capital C D and I substitute the value of C into this which is C C D I would get small c small c, c, d and the previous d over here and then, then then I can finally substitute this capital D as d, d, d this again with d, d, d so what I can notice over here is that this c can again be substituted with the help of the same production C capital C D but this won't terminate so I can say that this production C goes to small c capital C D is also a useless production because it won't ultimately ever terminate so we have discovered two useless productions and we'll remove them so I can put a small cross over here and over here as well. So the reduced grammar after the step is this. Now also in this step we also need to remove those productions which are never called upon. So I, if I have a look on my set of productions. Um, if I see D is never called upon from the start symbol directly or indirectly because the only production which called D has already been removed right so D is never called upon hence this turns out to be a useless production so we can cross it next if I look this production B goes to A goes to A if I analyze it it will be terminated by using e goes to lambda hence this is not a useless production if I see this set of productions s goes to c will be a production which won't terminate now hence this is also a useless production and we can directly cross it so uh, except for these there are no useless productions present now and we'll proceed on our next phase of finding the unit productions and removing them as you can notice the only unit productions present over here are now s goes to b and yes only s goes to b because there is no other unit production present over here so if you could remember the procedure was to substitute the productions over here which were reachable from B or I could say since this was a redundant produ production I would find out the production with the help of which 
If I replace this, the grammar won't change. So if I see my set of productions, B goes to capital A, small a is the only production present over here. So I would replace my this production with S goes to capital A, small a. So after solving out this, I have also removed the set of unit productions from my grammar and the optimized grammar after the removal of useless productions and unit productions is finally S goes to small a slash capital A sorry small a capital A and then this new production that we've discovered capital A small a A goes to small a capital B slash lambda and B goes to capital A, small a. Next finally is the task of removal of null productions. As you can see there is only one null production A goes to lambda and the procedure was to substitute A to all the various pl uh, possible places and obtain the new productions which can be obtained by doing so. So we can uh, see that if I number the production as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Obviously, 5 is the production that I need to remove. Production 2, 3 and 6 contain A on the right hand side and hence we will be substituting A goes to lambda over there. So, if I substitute uh, a goes to lambda in productions 2 and 3 I'll be getting S goes to A that is if I say that I substitute A goes to null over here it will eventually be resulting into A null which is equals to A so I get a production S goes to A also the same happens if I substitute null in this production And I result in the same production S goes to A. But S goes to A has already or is it it's already present in my set of productions. So I don't need to uh, perform this substitution I should say. And therefore I'll search for the other possibility present. So we know that the sixth production also has capital A present on its right hand side and if I substitute null over here I would get null A which is equals to A. So the new production that results from here is B goes to small a. So finally the reduced grammar after the set of substitutions or after the removal of null productions itself is if I could write down it is I can say it is S goes to small a S goes to small a capital A, S goes to capital A small a, A goes to AB. Now since we have removed the null production, I do not need to write this A goes to null. So this is removed. Then B goes to AA and also we obtain B goes to small a from here. So this is written. So this is the final set of productions that we get after optimization of our grammar. Hope this session would have been informative to you. So for more informative videos, please subscribe to the channel and do like the video if you think it should be. Thank you.